coming to you from our international headquarters. We're still located at 5105 North 5th Street uh, at the intersection of North 5th Street and Lindley Avenue. And that's in the city of Philadelphia here in Pennsylvania in the United States of America. Uh, our broadcast comes from this location quite often, but you will see it coming from other locations from time to time. Uh, we do want to say quickly, because we do have others who speak other languages, to those who speak Spanish. Saludos a todos nuestros audiencia de habla hispana, de la radio y de la televisión, audience, au nom de Jésus-Christ. Nous sommes la vérité du Dieu programme international avec le pasteur Gino Jennings. Cette mission vous parvient de la première église de notre Seigneur Jésus-Christ, située à 5105 5e rue Nord et Lindley Avenue, Philadelphie, Pennsylvanie, 1920, aux États-Unis d'Amérique. Nous vous invitons à notre clé pour recevoir une documentation gratuite en français ou en anglais. That's for our French-speaking listeners. Now we're going to present on to our leader, teacher, guide, and messenger of the Almighty God, the Apostle Pastor Gino Jennings. You may be seated, brothers and sisters. Greetings, brothers and sisters. Once again, we are thankful to the one true living God for his divine wisdom and his perfect and infallible understanding of all things. We thank him for being infallible without flaws, without error, a God that never make mistakes at no time. He says what he mean and he mean what he says about everything. We are indebted to him for his mercy and we are certainly grateful to him opening up our understanding that we may understand the scriptures. We greet all of our viewing audience around the world, all of our brothers and sisters and friends and enemies. Yes, we greet you too. We glad how loyal you are in coming back every week and in some cases every day to sit around the table. You know, the Lord says, the scripture says, thou prepares a table in the presence of my enemies. So this message is well prepared and our enemies, they come here and sit. They don't miss it. They listen, they learn, and then they fight it because it's against them. But you can never beat God. You know, I was thinking earlier this week how the devil has really declared war against God's holy teaching. As I was telling the church Thursday, and many of you haven't heard, uh, that this war has spilt over into the federal government against the truth of God. <laughs> uh, you know, we have events so many around the world, and our staff often send out invitations to thousands of people so they can be informed. And invitations were sent out, as always, for the closing year convocation. And the post office officials contact us this week and said how over 4,000 invitations of the truth of God was found tossed in the woods concerning our closing year service for December. And they said they're going to do a thorough investigation to find out who was the postman or postwoman. Nobody else mail was touched. Just the truth of God tossed in the woods. But the federal officials said, we got them all and we're gonna make sure they go out to where they supposed to have gone. But just to think of it, you know it had to be an inside job. But I would like to say to whoever you are, man or woman, do you really think taking a few thousand postcards <laughs> will damage or hinder or detour this tsunami of a gospel? Oh, no. Oh, no. 
You haven't even put a hairline crack. But it does show you the hatred that's targeting this message. But what one mean for bad, God can make it good. I receive word today for more results of this beautiful message. We have a pastor in his congregation who've been watching in several locations. I want to be a part of the truth of God. Congregation and the preacher want to come in and decide to come in. We'll be interviewing all of them. One out of Israel, one out of Cambodia, one out of Malaysia, and several out of the Philippine Islands. Are you getting it? <laughs> These are pastors with congregations that have been watching the message of holiness. Out of Israel, Cambodia, Malaysia. And God willing, in the year of 2022, not only will we be making a tour through Europe, Germany, and London, and Netherlands, then Amsterdam, and, and also Italy, but we're scheduled to make a tour through the South Pacific near Japan, yes. the Crook Islands, Fiji Islands, uh -huh. Samoan Islands, Solomon Islands, yeah. Vietnam. Then we have a tour coming through where we want to stop through Malaysia, Cambodia, yeah. and stop in Israel. We have a good crowd been bombarding us out of Damascus, also out of Greece. God have taken this message back where it was before. God is doing it. Now, viewers, I would like, by God's permission, before I go any further, let me say to you that is in Raleigh, uh -huh. North Carolina, Durham, North Carolina, Clinton, North Carolina, uh, Nightdale. All right. It is all right. <laughs> Services are being held in Nightdale, North Carolina. This is the address. Write it down at the Hampton Inn. First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ is holding services there. Brother Minister Lodge is the minister there. At the Hampton Inn, 405 Hinton Oaks Boulevard. Oh, Hinton. My. That's my relative's name. Relatives, in fact, Nightdale was their hometown. So to be held in Nightdale, North Carolina, 405 Hinton Oaks Boulevard. Nightdale, North Carolina, after Hampton Inn. You're welcome to come. Services is uh, every Sunday at 11 o'clock. God willing, this will be posted. So the boy can please post this right away. Brother Minister Lodge, I need you to contact me just in case there are more times and more days for services. We want to get this posted for all of those that are around the Nightdale, North Carolina. Uh, we're looking to open up a temple there. Well, you know the way we do. Oh, that's right. Glory oh, yeah. to God. By God's permission, God just gives the church victory everywhere all the time. All right, let me update you so we can uh, glorify God. Again, souls that were baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, 12 more in headquarters, one in Bronx, or rather New Brunswick, one in Bronx, two in Baltimore, one in Fredericksburg, Virginia, two in Rocky Mount, one in Columbia, South Carolina, five in Atlanta, three in Florence, three, two in Mobile, three in Jackson, Mississippi, one in Augusta, uh, one in Houston, one in Monroe, Louisiana, three in Detroit, two in Memphis, one in Dubai, one in Canada, one in Zambia, five in Nabia, six in Birmingham, England, 58 souls so far. That's a blessing. I want to say to all of the First Churches of the Lord Jesus Christ in Mozambique and Malawi, uh, our, one of our international secretaries, Brother Ray, uh, we plan on having our first Mozambique Holy Convocation this year, if the be the Lord's will, if there's no COVID hindrance. Also in Malawi, 
our first Truth of God convocation in Malawi. We're looking to hit both of these areas in uh, one month's time. I want to spend several days in Mozambique, and then from there go to Malawi, then from there go to Burundi. God be our helper. Johannesburg, God willing, we look to get in Johannesburg, South Africa, in the year of 2022 again. And from there, we look to go to Cape Town. Uh, so we can cape the town with scripture. To all the first churches of the Lord Jesus Christ in Kenya and Tanzania, God willing, we look to hit both countries as well. Now, my secretary have to monitor these areas and give us the information, as well as my traveling secretary, Sister Lorraine, so we can avoid the uh, monsoon seasons, the rainy seasons. Yeah. I don't mind water, but praise the Lord. Amen. I love to go to these areas so we can, you know, get around the yeah. monsoon seasons because we want as many thousands to come out. And God be our helper, we're looking to record every single stop we make in every country. Videotape it so we can send it back and the world can get a chance to see it. To the brothers and sisters out there in Alaska, God willing also, we're looking to get in your area next year. Canada, we're looking to be back over there as well. All right, well, this weekend coming, we're looking to be in Charlotte. And we do hope that many of you be there with us. Uh, this year is moving out so fast. God willing, we do hope we're able to finish the main auditorium. Viewers, the services that you see here in Philadelphia, we are presently holding meetings in our lower auditorium of our international headquarters temple, our main auditorium. We're, we're getting close to the finish line. We're getting close to the finish line. Our two... More balconies has been erected and done. Our tile men, we ought to have them in here soon. We're looking to be building the tears in all three balconies so we can seat more. We should be able to get close to about 3,000 awesome. in the main auditorium once everything is done. Once everything is done, including the tears and the amount of seating that we're able to put on both and the ground and and then the lower auditorium where we are presently broadcasting from will be the overflow room and the gymnasium will be the second overflow room. So we'll be able to handle quite a few thousands on the campus. And then uh, as years progress and you can't fit here, then we're looking, God willing, to build an entire new temple with a seating capacity to eight to 10,000. Yes. Amen. Yes. That way, we, the entire auditorium would be an overflow room. Yes. That's our desire. And I say like the apostle, this will I do, uh -huh. if God permit. Yes. I want to greet all of our brothers and sisters throughout the Caribbean, to you that are watching this morning and the Bahama Islands, and again this morning throughout all Jamaica. Uh, Brother Minister Gary sent me an email of a news report that I was listening to out of Jamaica. Uh, false Church, I believe they call themselves the Pathway International Ministries, if I'm not mistaken. Uh -huh. uh, and the police have seized laptops and uh, how the church leaders manipulated the congregations to murder, to kill, in the form of sacrifice about 144 Jamaican people. I believe some people within the organization was murdered already, but they arrest, the police caught and arrested the head false prophet and other parishioners. Now, ladies and gentlemen, and brothers and sisters and friends, and to my evil enemies, 
You may wonder why we preach so hard, so tough, so rough against the religion of men, against the ideology and the philosophy and the hypocrisy of these false prophets. We do this by God's permission for your protection and for your salvation. The more knowledge we have of scriptural truth, it weakens the hand of the false prophets. Are you getting what I'm telling you? I often make this parable. Ignorance empowers wicked policemen. Did you hear me? When we are ignorant of the law, and when the wicked policemen stop you and violate your rights, your rights will be continued to be violated as long as you are ignorant of your rights by law. When you have knowledge of your rights by law, then you can call the hand of the police officer. When you have knowledge yes, right. of scripture, Amen. then you can call the hand of the false prophet. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because you have knowledge of the law of scripture. Yes, sir. Now, I know many of you in Jamaica were surprised, but here in America, we're not surprised. Oh, yeah. Here in America and around the world, the signs of a cult. You will find men declare themselves to be the Messiah. You will find men declare themselves to be God Almighty. You will find men declare themselves to be the reincarnation of Jesus. That's right. You will find men to declare themselves that they are the risen Christ. That's right. That's right. When followers are ignorant, here, yeah, I want to hit you hard, of scripture, then you are lured and enticed by good sounding words. When you have knowledge of scripture, regardless of how good those words sound, those words have no effect. In other words, the scriptures build up your spiritual immune system towards hypocritical teaching. When I came up, my mother gave me cast oil. Thinking of it, give me the willies. He gave me cast oil. God is how bad it tastes. It worked. I came up during the old remedy time. Castor oil. Father John's. Three sixes. Mark of the beast medicine. <laughs> but it worked. My mother would tie this nasty stuff around my neck that looked like tree bark. I think it was called asphysity something. Nasty. It was some nasty, stinking stuff. But it worked. So, viewers, we have an old remedy preaching message. And it works. Lined up with all scripture. Never mind opinion, never mind philosophy, never mind ideology. Our interest is to open up your understanding, your mind, and your heart to the intelligence of God that you may refrain and run from falsehood. Now these young men, middle age or whatever, in Jamaica was about to fulfill the wishes. Of this false prophet. They got videos of him on the news on YouTube. Doing the antics of the American false prophets. 
waving his hand over people and they falling out with his little purple robe on. Throwing his hands over people, they falling out, catching them. They learned this from watching America horror stories. That's what religion is. Religion is America horror stories. And it is horrible when you think of what these men are doing to hard working men and women. That's right. And they come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. A wonderful and horrible thing. Listen in the book of Jeremiah. In Jeremiah chapter 5 and at verse 30. Listen. A wonderful and horrible thing two is Two categories. Committed. A wonderful. Hold it. Two categories let you know there's two emotions coming as a result of this one act. It's wonderful to some because they're ignorant of the truth of the gospel. So evil is good to them. That's right. A wonderful and horrible and thing. Horrible thing. Is committed in the land. It's taken place in the land. The prophets prophesy falsely. Oh, yes. It doesn't phase these men today to come in the name of the Lord with all these fake prophecies saying the Lord said this, the Lord said that, the Lord said the other. Veal us. Viewers, hate me much as you please. You know, you can hate your alarm clock, but you said it. You set that thing for six o'clock and you hate to hear it. That thing ring loud, especially when it got that old kind of ring. That ring like an alarm clock from the 50s and 60s and 70s. It sounded like a fire alarm. You hit that thing and bang on it. It seemed like it just won't stop and throw it across the room. But you said it. You said it to do what it was made to do. God sends the preacher. Get the old troublemaker. And God set him to do what he sent to do. God made him an alarm. Why? The world have fell asleep. And the devil has used false prophets through seductive language to make you comfortable in your sins, comfortable in your ignorance, so you can fall asleep when truth is ringing. Just like you take that alarm clock and throw it across the room, do what you want to it, you still know you got to get up. You can take the word of God and push it aside. Do what you want to it. If you ever get into the kingdom of God, you have still got to come back and obey it. That's right. Listen, a wonderful and horrible thing. Is committed in the land. Took place in the land. The prophets prophesy falsely. Prophets are liars. And the priests bear and rule the by their means. have made themselves rulers by their own means. And my people love to have it so. What kind of person are you? What kind of person? Who love deception. These religious leaders are so cunning, so crafty, so wicked that they will influence men, yeah. women to murder. That's right. Believing they're doing God's service. In the book of St. John. Now, I, I, I want to show you this in the Bible, Jamaica the Bible. and the world. That's right. I want the 16th chapter of the book of St. John. And we'll start at verse 1. At verse 1. I want everybody to hear this. I want to work on cult leadership and the ignorance of cult followers yeah. when you make your leader the messiah oh yes when you make your leader the reincarnation of christ that's right when you make your leader god almighty himself that's right when you make your leader higher than god when you bow to him, pray to him, all the songs in your temple and your congregation is in the name of your leader. Yeah. Are you getting me? Oh, yes. There's an organization here in America. It's called House of Prayer. For all the people. Turn me up back there. Give me some more juice. I want a lot of juice. Make it loud. Oh, yeah. Make it strong. 
Oh, yes. Amen. That's that. Yeah, yes, make it loud. Glory to God, make it strong. The House of Prayer for All People founded by Bishop C.M. Grace. He was better known as Sweet Daddy Grace. Now, you know that's a false prophet because a man of God don't wear such a title. No. Sweet Daddy. <laughs> He's dead now in the Christless grave. He'll soon be ushered to hell. That's right. But while he lived, his hair, he allowed to grow further than his shoulders. He let his nails grow long, two and three inches long, until they twist. All the songs that were sung in the house of prayer for all people, they removed all the words that had the name Jesus. And they sung and replaced those words with sweet daddy. You know, I love history. And one day I ran up on one of his videos on YouTube uh -huh. from 1950s. Yeah, I saw it. And the choir, oh, they had a good sounding choir. But there's a song that was sung for years. Jesus is mine. And the choir said, oh, yes, he's mine. So they switched it. And the whole choir sang it, sweet daddy is mine. Sweet daddy is mine. Everywhere I go, everywhere I be, sweet daddy is mine. See, that's coldism. That's coldism. Only one deserves to be prayed to, sung about, wish up. That's God. That's God. Are you listening? That's right. God is jealous. That's right. Hear the old troublemaker now, because I'm pretty sure, but we, we, we haven't been up here long, and I guarantee, thumbs down already. <laughs> Pointing where they're going. That's right. 20th chapter of the book of Exodus. I say God is jealous. That's right. Human family. That's right. Your bishop, you should never make a song about him. No. He's unworthy. Your bishop, you should never bow before him. I want every Catholic heathen in the world to hear this. You that are watching throughout Rome. That's right. The Pope is not fit to be bowed to. Think of it. He's a man. He got to wash like you. That's right. He had to use soap. Right. He had to brush his teeth or take them out and put them in a jar. That's right. So they can soak overnight. That's right. Amen. Amen. He had to get checkups. He gets sick. Yeah. And he dies. He dies. No man. That's right. Should we ever bow to? No. No man, if you honor that man, let your honor come in compliance with God's eternal word. That's right. Don't sing a song and toss his name in it. I had someone ask me, why don't you change the name uh, of our television program from the truth of God to Pastor Jenna's Ministries? You trying to get me in trouble with God? <laughs> if I have on their passage in his ministry, we'll be advertising a lie. That's right. Because Jesus said, this doctrine is not mine. That's right. This ministry is not mine. That's right. <laughs> this thing is of God. Now I say that Jesus Christ was listen, a minister. Listen, listen, listen. In Romans 15 and verse 8. I say that Jesus Christ was a minister. Of the circumcision. Of the circumcision. For the, for the truth of for God. For the truth of God. For the truth of God. Not for Geno Jenna's ministries. No. When these preachers name their ministry after them, you know where the money is going. That's right. Right to their business. Right to, that's right. 
Get what I'm telling you now. In the book of Follow me in the book of Exodus. Exodus chapter 20 and at verse 1. All right. And God spake all of these words, saying, God speak these words. I am the Lord thy God. Glory to God. I am the Lord thy God. We are. I am the Lord thy Cultism. God. Cultism. That's right. Cults have more than one God. Oh, yes. See, when you got more than one God, or if you got two, you got three, you got four, you got five, you don't represent the God of Israel. No. You see, there's only one true living God after God that made Adam. That's right. The first father. That's right. And that's the God that made Eve the mother of all living. Yeah. That's the God that translated Enoch. And that's the God that talked to Abraham. That's right. And that's the God that delivered Israel out of the hands of Pharaoh. That's right. That's the God that created the universe. That's the God that sitteth upon the circle of the earth, and the inhabitants thereof is all as, as the grasshoppers. That's right. These other gods, plural, fake, yes. phony, weak, dumb, ignorant. You know, you say you're a preacher. It's God Almighty. And then I come along and ask you, well, when was his birthday? <laughs> like in the Nation of Islam says that Master Farad Muhammad, the great Mahdi, was God. Born 18 something. That's a devil out of hell. That's the devil. God ain't never was born. Before the mountains were brought forth. What? Before. Here. Yeah. Give chapter and verse where I want them to follow me to the letter. Psalms 90. We'll start at verse 1. What is it? Lord, thou hast been our dwelling place in all generations. How many? Lord, thou hast been our dwelling place in all. How many? In all. How many lords? Lord. Get there. Lord. Spell it. L-O-R-D. Lord. How many? One. One. Lord, Lord, thou hast been our dwelling thou place. Thou hast been. Thou hast been. I let you know you got to dwell in him. Oh, That's yeah. right. So where to go? Thou hast been. You thou. got to be in him. That's right. Thou hast been our dwelling place. In all generations. In all generations. Before the mountains were brought uh -oh. forth. Before the mountains was brought forth. Or ever thou hadst formed the earth and the world. For you made the earth and the world. Even from everlasting. From eternity to everlasting to eternity, thou art God. From no beginning That's right. to no ending, That's right. you're God. Thou art God. From no beginning to no ending, yes. you're God. That's right. That's the one. We, hallelujah. That's the one we wish up. That's right. Go back to Exodus now. Back in Exodus chapter 20 and verse 1. Follow me. And God spake all these words saying, I am the Lord thy God. I am the Lord thine God. Which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Yes. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Now hold it. Singular God is talking. Right. And the only time you have a G-O-D-S is when you're trying to set up rival against the G-O-D. That's right. All of God true men. Yeah. We know it's one. That's right. Even the devil know it's one and make you believe it's more than one. That's right. Give me the book of James. Book of James, chapter 2, and at verse 19. Let me show you this, viewers. Then we go back to Exodus. Then we go back to John. James, chapter 2, and verse 19. Follow me. Thou believest that there is one God. Wait, how, how are we doing? Thou doest well. Oh, all right, all right. I'm all right then. <laughs> That's right. If you believe there's one God, how you feel? Thou doest well. How are you doing in God's eyes? The devil's all Here. Thou how are you well. doing in God's eyes? Thou doest well. If you believe in more than one, you ain't doing well. I don't care even if you think so. That's right. If you believe in more than one, that's right. You're not doing well. They criticize me over the internet. Pastor, you didn't preach one God. That's right, I preach one God. And God said, if I believe there's one, what did he say? Thou doest well. I'm doing well, even if you criticize me. God said I'm doing well. Do now who do you think I'm gonna take? That's right. God says what? Thou believest that there is one God. How are we doing? Thou doest well. 
Amen. I'm doing all right. Doing all right. Now you give me Bible. How are you doing? And the Bible tell me how you're doing. You'd have to believe in more than one. That's give me right. Bible. Tell me how you doing. That's right. I got Bible. How we're doing. That's right. You send me your scripture that tells us how you doing. When you say there's more than one God, Jehovah yes. Witnesses, mm -hmm. when you make Jesus a God and make Jehovah the God, tell me how you're doing with two. Right. Send me that scripture. I just want to know how you're doing. That's right. Dude, they got three persons in the Godhead. Tell me how you're doing. That's right. Making God schizophrenic. That's right. Giving him multi personalities. That's right. Just tell me how you're doing and send me Bible that said so. <laughs> Listen. Thou believest that there is one God, thou doest well. What knowledge do the devil have? The devils also believe. And what do they do? And tremble. The devil know which one. That's right. But he make you believe it's three. That's right. Why do he make you believe it's three? Because he's the father of lies, and he want all his children to be liars like him. Like him. Go back to the book of Exodus. Back in Exodus chapter 20 now, we're at verse 2. Listen. I am the Lord I thy am the God, Lord thine God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Yes. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Don't you have no other gods before me? Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven Don't image. Don't make unto thee any graven image. Or any likeness of anything that is in heaven That's above. That's another thing that take place in cultism. They make images of their leader and pay homage to him, right. bow to him, pray to him, make that image sacred. That's right. Until it become a good luck charm. That's right. They put so much confidence in the image. That's right. And every Catholic church, let me educate you. When we bought this campus, you know, folks heard me preach against wealth and all that type of stuff when you get it wrongfully. And somebody got so offended, they say, well, look at that marble podium up there. I bet you paid a lot of money for that. <laughs> we didn't pay nothing for it. <laughs> we ain't paid nothing for it. Amen. This was not a podium. It was a marble, an Italian, thick, heavy, 1929 hand-carved marble altar. That was in the convent. Yeah. And I redesigned it. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. I got my men together and told them, look at the seams of the entire altar and dismantle it and then number it and bring it to the lower auditorium and lay it on the floor. And I came and looked at each number. They said, just the altar. I said, no, get the marble off the wall too. I'm going to use that. Mm -hmm. Took the marble off the wall. I mean, it, brother, them brothers were struggling with it. It was so heavy. I say, lay it out. Yeah. And I got my pencil and took the altar, redo it. This piece right here wasn't part of the altar. We took it off the wall. Yeah. Those big squares on the front never was on the altar. They was mounted into a wall. So I took an altar and redesigned it. Yeah. So it didn't cause us nothing. Amen. <laughs> But in every Catholic church, there are altars. In the altar, there's a little square that's made to come out. In that altar are pieces of a dead person's body in the form of a bone. My Lord. And the altar in the main auditorium was way bigger than this. They took the altar. They had several bones in it. Mm. They forgot about this one. They thought they could come back and get it and say, no, I say you ain't come back and get nothing. You. <laughs> so when it came time for us to dismantle and I redesigned it for a speaker's podium, they said, uh, I went over there to make sure, and I forgot about the little square that was at the top. And I removed it, and there it was. Human bone. The Catholics believe that if body parts of dead parishioners who they call saints are sacred. Body part. It can be a finger. It can be a toe. It can be a part of a bone of a human body. When we first bought this campus, the first priest of this place was buried on the grounds. 
right out there where we designed that wall up there. He was buried in the ground. I told him, I don't mind buying the church, but the priest don't come with it. <laughs> priest don't come with it. That's right. They wanted to leave him in the ground. I said, no, you don't. No, you don't. You're going you're gonna to come get this package and get it out of here. Because if we dig them up, amen. 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 And he burnt the bones of the priests. Listen. In the book of 2 Chronicles, chapter 34, and at verse 5. What happened? And he burnt the bones of the priests. He burnt the bones of the priests. Upon their altars. Upon their altars. And cleansed Judah and Jerusalem. That's what the world needs to be cleansed. And they break down the altars break of Baal in his presence. Break down the altars of Baal in his presence. And the images that were on and high the above them. the images that was on high above them. He cut down. That's what we did here when we bought this campus. Yeah. We went on imagery killing spree. Yeah. Amen. I looked over there, there were some brothers just kicking images down. Yeah. Yeah, Amen. <laughs> Tearing them to pieces. That's right. That's right. Why? We had to cleanse the house. Cleanse. That's right. Cleanse it. Cleanse. Purify it. That's Once right. you cleanse it naturally, you got to come back and clean it spiritually. And the groves and the carved images and the, and the molten images, and what? he break in pieces break in piece. and make dust of them. Make dust of them. So I was in a barber shop and I found out there was a daily news sitting there and on the front page, priests removed from resting place. I'm like, okay. Well. And I noticed the address, 5105 North 5th Street. That's how I found out. Wow. They snuck in and grave robbers. Amen. First, they were defiant and didn't want to do it. But what, they changed their mind. You know why? They remembered that they buried him with the pure, solid, gold, large cross wow. laying on the chest of a corpse. Pure gold. Dug them up and got that gold out of there. I don't know what they done with him, but I'm pretty sure what they done with that gold. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's right. So we had to get rid of the images. That's right. Demolish them. Yeah. Ain't kidding about what they cost. No. We had to get rid of them. That's right. Whenever you have a coat. Images are made not only out of clay, but 99% of the time out of flesh That's right. and blood. That's right. Now let me show you the danger of these men and women who are co-leaders. Yes. 16th chapter of the book of John. In, jo in St. John chapter 16, and we'll start at verse 1. Listen good. These things have I spoken unto you. Jesus preaching to us. That's right. These things I spoke to you. That you should not be offended. Don't you be offended. They shall put you out of the synagogues. Now he began to tell his disciples yeah. what will happen to them. They shall put you out of They're the synagogues. They're going to throw you out of places of worship. Yea, the time cometh. Listen. Yea, the, the time, time come that whosoever killeth you, whoever, whoever will kill you, will think that he doeth God service. And these whoever things, will kill you, whosoever killeth you, will think will think that he doeth God service. They will believe they're doing the will of God. And these things will they do unto you. They're going to do it unto you. Because they have not known the Father nor me. Because they don't know the spirit nor the flesh that the spirit was in. That's right. They don't know God That's and right. they don't know the Son of God. They shall put you. Hold it. That's right. Given his apostles warning. warning. How you going to be murdered. And when they murder you. The murderer's going to believe it's God's will. That's right. Well, that also have transitioned over to them that use the name of Jesus Christ in vain. That's right. 
and send people out to murder. Yeah. In the name of their cult. There was, I forgot the name of this cult leader, but it was over in the Asiatic country. I believe it was in the 1980s or the 1990s. And he sent his followers out to put, I believe what you call that powder Amtrax on a train throughout Asia. And many people got sick and died. Many men, Waco, Texas, they claimed they were Christians. That's right. There was another area here in America where the false prophet was a cult leader and he influenced all his followers to murder them, kill themselves. And when the FBI found them, they were bodies was all in bunk beds. That's right. Said they was waiting on the arrival of an alien spaceship yeah. to take them back to Christ. That's right. Do you remember the 1970s, Jim Jones? Jones. I was in junior high school, now what they call middle school. Took all his followers out of America to Guyana yeah. to have their own community. The government sent officials over there because people wanted to leave the community, sent letters to the government of America during that time, and the government officials came, and those that wanted to leave, was able to leave the first time. Yeah. But then more complaints came. Government officials came the second time. And when Jim Jones hypocritically said they can leave, when they got to the plane, Jim Jones hit men, yeah. armed with rifles and machine guns. Gunned them down at the airport. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Jim Jones began to tell his followers, Armageddon has come. Yeah. It's time for us to take our lives. Yeah. They put poison mm -hmm. in, I believe it was Kool-Aid. Yeah. So they can drink it. Right. And then others were injected with the poison, even babies. Yeah. That's true. Oh, yes. How was this successfully carried out? Because they were ignorant of Scripture. That's right. No co leader have successful influence over nobody who not only know the Scripture but is strong and sound in the scripture. That's right. That's right. That's true. That's right. You see, you can't only be in the word. The word got to be in you. That's right. You reading it don't mean nothing. No. You understanding it and living by it, that fortifies you against cultism. That's right. That's right. Babies murdered. I remember to this day when we came home and the news flash came on television. I remember that helicopter shot from reporters. Yes. Guyana was hot. Oh, yeah. And the bodies laid out in the sun so long. Bodies laying down, face down, hundreds with their arms around each other. Yeah. And the bodies swelled up and burst. Yes. Babies. Some escaped cultism. In the book of 2 Chronicles, chapter 33, we'll start at verse 1. Listen. Manasseh was 12 years old when he began to reign, and he reigned 50 and 5 We're going to give you other Jerusalem. signs of cultism, too. That's right. Wonderful. Give chapter and verse again, Williams. 2 Chronicles, chapter 33, now we're at verse 2. What? But did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord. Yes. Like unto the abominations of the heathen whom the Lord had cast out before the children of Israel. Uh -huh. For he built again the high places which Hezekiah's father had broken down. Yes. And he reared up altars for Balaam. And Wait a he, minute. He reared up reared altars up. for Balaam. You know, you got churches called the Church of Satan. Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Where crosses are in the churches. But the crosses are turned upside down. That's right. That's right. Oh, yeah. Have you noticed how cultists, cultists the music industry have become? That's right. 
That's right. Do you notice how satanic? You see, Satan used music. Satan used television. Satan used internet. Satan used every vice. That's right. Including the so-called church. That's right. That's right. Not to lead people to God of a truth, but to lead you to Satan in Jesus' name. That's right. That's right. Viewers, have you ever been in a church or religion where the preacher have manipulated the followers so bad yeah. until parents give mm. their sons to the preacher so he can sodomize them at will. That's right. That's right. Parents give. That's right. They eight, nine, 10, 11 year old daughter to the preacher yeah. so he can have sex with at will. At will. This is done in the Mormon church. That's right. Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Yep. These no good, rotten, hell-deserving priests. Yes, priests. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Mothers and fathers is giving their 12-year-old, 13-year-old, 14-year-old daughters. That's right. So the priests can violate their virginity at will. At will. That's right. Fathers donate his wife. Mm. Amen. And remember, they call themselves prophets. Prophets. Sister, are you pregnant? Because a preacher told you it was the Lord's will. Yeah. yeah. Mother, are your daughters pregnant? Yeah. Because the preacher said it was his, it was the Lord's will to plant his seed in <laughs> fertile soil. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Are you listening to the old man? That's right. Father, do your son have problems sitting down? Mm. Because your pastor raped him. That's right. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. Talk back to me. Amen. Amen. Do your religion have a hit squad? Yeah. That when members leave, your leader becomes so irate, so upset that he send members after those that left to kill them. Right. That's right. That's, That's right. cultism. That's cultism. In the wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14 and verse 22. These preachers are nothing but gangsters. Yes. Religious mafia. You got the Italian mafia. You got Haitian mafia. You got the uh, Spanish mafia. And you got religious mafia. Yes. Many of you watching me today, your mama is dead. In some religion, yeah. you lost your mother, you lost your father, and you lost your children. Yes. In some religious practice, where they was taught self-murder, or to be murdered by someone else, right. it's doing God's will. God's, they shall put you out of the synagogue. They shall put you out the synagogue. And the time cometh that whoso and the time you come that whoever kill you will think that will doing think, God's will service. Will think. Will think, right. will think, will think, will think that he doeth God's service. They're doing God's will. That's right. That's right. You see, these men, they don't preach nothing. No. That's why we blast false prophets so hard. That's right. And so rough. That's right. To wake you up. Wake you up. So you don't become a victim of a cult. Right. Posing as apostolic or Pentecostal or holiness. That's right. That's right. God has 
have been artificially represented today. Yeah. That's right. Under the common heading Christianity. That's right. And Christ is not being taught the right way, right way. but through pretense. That's right. First chapter of the book of Philippians. Of Philippians. Follow me in the Bible. In Philippians chapter 1, and we'll start reading at verse 18. Listen. What then? What then? Notwithstanding, every way. Every way. Whether in pretense. Whether in faking. Or in truth. Or in reality. Christ is preached. Christ is preached. That's right. That's so right. these men say, in the name of Jesus Christ, I want you to go out and kill Yes. Those people that left this organization. Right. Tell them it's the Lord's will. That's right. How is it? How is it? That's right. That you become so warped. Years ago, there was a man named Malachi York. Mm -hmm. Supposed to be head of the Hebrew Israelites, I believe. Of who? New Orleans? New Orleans. Hmm. Well, a lot of them was calling themselves black Jews. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And they had a hit squad. Wow. And he declared himself to be God. My Lord, my Lord. And I remember when it came across the news, when the FBI had him in cuffs. They say we have arrested God today. <laughs> Viewers, do you have family members today that was legitimately charged with murder because they were sitting under the influence of a no good rotten preacher? That's right. That's right. Who said God Sink him. Yeah. How did you get so ignorant? So blind? This book, the scriptures, the Bible, have been misused for years to murder, to rape, to spill blood, yeah. to have slaves. Yes. To sodomize boys. That's right. To take your money. That's right. To take your houses. Yes. To take your business. That's right. Are you listening? In the book of the wisdom of Solomon. How is it you run to it like wildebeest in Africa? Yeah. Because you went after a sound. And didn't go after God. Solomon says, there's a way yes. that seem right unto man. But the end thereof are the ways of death. Of death. Any religion that tell you to kill each other. Amen. Murder each other in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. or in the name of Allah or in the name of Jehovah yes. or in the name of Muhammad oh, yeah. or in the name of Moses. That's right. That's codism. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? In the book of the wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14 and verse 22. Says what? Moreover, this was not enough for them. Moreover! It wasn't enough for them. That they erred in the knowledge of God. That they erred in the knowledge of God. But whereas they lived in the great war of ignorance. They lived in the great conflict of, of ignorance. stupidity. Those so great plagues called they peace. Those so great plagues called them peace. For whilst they slew their children in sacrifice. They murdered their children in sacrifice. And they was in great what? This was not enough for them, that they erred in the knowledge of God. Yes. Though so great plagues called they peace. 
And what did they do? For whilst they slew their children in sacrifice. They murdered their children in sacrifice. Or used secret ceremonies. You know, most cults have secret initiations. That's right. That's right. This is written. It's written. Listen. For whilst they slew their children in sacrifice. You know, like you Masons. Yeah. You know how you stand in your square stance. Yeah. You got to tear your shirt over your heart. That's right. And roll up one pants leg. And you're blindfolded. Marbles is cast, several white marbles and one black marble. And once the marbles is cast, and if the black marble fall on you, then you are considered black ball. Yeah. But if you get the white marble, then initiation, you are told you have to bring food to feed the goat. Yeah. And yet there is no goat to feed. You stand there like a fool blindfolded with your shirt torn over your heart and your pants leg raised up and a bunch of grown dumb ignorant men run around you like the little rascals yeah making noise trying to scare you yeah get at a certain point in masonry where you lay aside the bible and you pick up the quran now you have to take a vow of secrecy that's right and if you your agreement is not to expose <laughs> Those secrets, if you do, you agree to have your tongue cut out and your heart snatched out. Right. Come get my tongue. I dare you to touch my heart. That's right. I beat you back into hell with Bible. That's right. That goes for if I got any former masons here. Yeah. You know, when you are former mason, you repent of your sins and go down the water in the name of Jesus Christ. That secret is no secret no more. You don't mind telling it. Right. Exploiting it. Make it known. That's right. Because Jesus said in secret, have I said, I said nothing. nothing. That's right. Many of you mothers are in jail today. You was in a religion. You murdered your daughter. Yes. And your son and the rest of your children as a form of a ritual because you obeyed the orders of some imposter. That's right. Who you thought was a man of God. For whilst they slew their children in sacrifice. They slew their children in sacrifice. Or used secret ceremonies. Or used secret ceremonies. Or made revelings of strange rites. Or made re Look at here. Amen. Give chapter and verses. Uh, the wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, now we're at verse 23. They made revelings, they made revelings of, of strange, strange rites. rites. They kept neither lives nor marriages any longer undefiled. Wait a minute. They do what? They kept neither lives. They what? They kept neither lives. They kept Amen. neither lives. Nor marriages. No marriages. Any longer undefiled. What do you mean you didn't keep it in the file? Because they swapped women. Right. That's right. That's right. It's written here. They That's trade right. women. That's right. That's right. No more undefiled because the society, the cult, is full of defilement. That's right. And they are designed to wallow in defilement without measure. That's right. That's right. These cults are hiding behind a cross. Many of these cults are hiding behind a star and a crescent moon. Yes. Many of these cults are hiding behind the star of the so-called star of David. That's right. That's right. When you fail to follow the standards of God Himself, himself. and your worship deviate from what God outlined, yeah. you are nothing but cultism. That's right. Are you listening? They kept neither lives nor marriages any longer undefiled. But I and some cults, you have to bring your wife and lay her on the altar. That's right. So the priest can have sex with her, with her. in the public. Wow. That's right. That's right. Disorder. Standing around with hoods on. Yeah. There was a rapper died not that long ago. I believe it was called DMX. Right. And they had his funeral on social media. And I believe it's one performer 
Mr. Kanye mess. Amen. The cultism. Cultism. All surrounded the man's coffin with hoods My Lord. bowling back and forth. My Lord. Like a bunch of Satanists having a ritual. Mm. God is not mocked. God is not mocked. Your religions are playing with God. Yeah. And when you play with God, you play with your eternal life. That's right. You see, when you stand firm and bark loud like this, you become a target to the world. That's right. See, that's why these preachers that's won't right. preach nothing. Yeah. They don't want to become a target to the world. No the only thing they want to target is your wallet. That's right. I want to target your soul. That's right. They give you spiritual liberation. Yes. That you may be ready when the Lord God of heaven and earth come. That's right. Listen. They kept neither lives nor marriages any longer undefiled. They don't keep no life. Mm -hmm. Nor marriages. No life. No life is honored now. That's right. Any life can be violated. Right. Any life can be offered. That's right. Any life can be murdered. That's right. Next of kin. Yeah. Some of these cults, again, if you're in any religion, and one of the rituals are you got to give the preacher your whole bank account. Yeah. Got to give the preacher your house. That's right. Notice he get everything. That's right. Mm -hmm. You're right, he ain't sharing nothing. <laughs> oh, no. The preacher get up and use the Old Testament, how they had concubines and didn't tell you it's Bible and it's for us today. Yeah. Let me give you some good knowledge. Good knowledge. I want you to remember this heading. Past truth, depending upon what it is. Here, I want you to hear me good. Past truth can be a present lie. That's right. Past truth can be a present day lie. That's right. I want to say, how was that, Pastor Jennings? Let me give you a good example. In the days of old, they had to offer a sacrifice. A lamb, a bullock, a heifer, or a turtle dove right. as a form of sin offering yeah. for redemption of their sins. Yeah. You try to do that today for your sins based upon past truth. Right. Your actions is a present lie because the death of Jesus took the place of all those Old Testament sacrifices. That's right. When you were baptized in the days of John the Baptist, who baptized unto repentance. repentance. And the past, that was true. You had to be baptized during that time with the baptism of John. Right. If you tell me today I got to be baptized with the baptism of John based upon past truth and try to baptize in that same manner today, that past truth is a present lie. That's right. Because that baptism expired. That's right. For John said, one come after me. Oh, he's mightier than I. He's going to baptize you. With the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Who will take God and that with fire. Now do you see what I'm saying? That's right. Past truth. You can divorce your wife in the Old Testament. Yeah. Jesus come and said, from the beginning. Not so. It was not so. Not so. So if you try to bring it now, past truth yes. become a present day lie. That's right. That's right. Are you getting me? Oh, we take God. That's right. King David was up in age. His body couldn't get no heat. <laughs> they put a search out in the kingdom to find a young virgin. 
I ain't want to get no young and spiritual woman. No. He would have been overheated. <laughs> get a young version to lie in the bosom of the king, the king. because his body couldn't get no heat. That's right. Keep him warm. Not to lay to have sex. No. That was past truth. Was past truth. Present day truth. Present day. Seven chapter book of first Corinthians, we get that verse one quickly. Now concerning the things whereof you wrote concerning unto me. Concerning the things that we wrote unto you. It is good for a man not to touch a woman. And if you want to touch a what? Nevertheless, to avoid fornication, let every man have his own wife. You see, now right. I don't care how old you are. That's right. And your body can't get no heat until your toes become frostbitten. <laughs> That's just right. from an air conditioner. That's right. That's you, right. You, you can't get no woman outside of your wife. No. To lay in your bosom. That's right. Because the Bible says good. It not. is good for a man not to touch a woman. And God, God implement that. Many of you say, oh, that's that old crazy man, Paul. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's God talking. Oh, because right. it ain't no man, including Paul. Including Paul. Going to say that. No. Ain't no man gonna say it's good not to touch no woman. Not to touch. What man gonna say that? Amen. What man gonna say that? I said. Yeah. Would you say it? Oh, Would you say it, men? No. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You ain't gonna get me to say it. I'm not saying it either, Pastor. I ain't saying it. I'm not saying it either. God said it. That's right. Through Paul. Through Paul. Paul let you know he didn't say it of himself. Yeah. Because let's, let's look at quickly Paul passed. Titus yeah. 3 and 3. Titus 3 and 3. T Titus chapter 3 and at right. verse 3. We ourselves. Also were sometimes foolish. Look at it reflecting on himself. That's right. We ourselves also were sometimes foolish. What else? Disobedient. What else? Deceived. What were we doing? Serving divers lusts and pleasures. Wait a minute. Come on. That's right. Come on. That was Paul past life. That's right. Well, how did he approach lust and pleasure? Serving. Well, hey, serving. He served it? Serving. Amen. Paul said, you give it to me, I give it back to you. That's right. Serve it. Serving divers lust. Serve it up. Divers lust. All kind of lust. All kind. That's right. And what else? And pleasures. I <laughs> got happy. <laughs> Amen. I let you know he ain't said. No. It's good for a man not to touch. That's the Lord's doing. That's the Lord's doing. Yes. Past truth. Remember that can be a present lie. That's right. Yet it's all scripture, but there are certain things in scripture that expire, outdated. outdated. Yeah. And this is what you don't know. That's right. So this is what men have done. They have took Old Testament things. That have expired and made it inclusive within cultism. That's right. And then they read scripture and you say, well, wait a minute. It's in the Bible, but is it for today? today. Somebody say, well, God says I'm the same yesterday, the day, and forevermore. Yeah, he is. That's right. He is the same. He's the same. Yesterday and today and forevermore. He, he is the same. He is. But there are many things he done yesterday. Oh, yeah. He ain't allowing today. That's right. That's right. You ain't coming in God's house now killing a lamb. No. The son of God was that lamb. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's right. Over take God. Do you see what I'm talking? They shall put you out of the synagogue. They shall give chapter and verse again. Back in St. John chapter 16 and verse 2. They shall throw you out of the synagogue. Yea, the time cometh that whosoever hey, can. Hey, 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 viewers. Amen. Have you left any of these religions? And they are told not to speak to you no more? Yeah. Your family members got to shun you? That's right. That's Here you baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, got the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue. They claim they baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, got the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue. But because you are not in their group. That's right. Then the hypocrites say it's one church, but they have made their group. Yes. Or their organization, 
the one church. The church is bigger than anybody organization. That's right. Hey, you apostolics, have you drift into cultism? Which say, stand by thyself. Listen. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 65 and verse 5. Have you drift into cultism? Cultism. Do you believe you're the only one right or do you believe God is the only one right? <laughs> That's right. That's right. Many people write me, you think you're the only one right? My response is the same all the time. I believe God is the only one right. And if I stick with his word, then my preaching going to stay right. That's right. So no, I don't think I'm the only man right. No, I'm not a fool. That's right. I believe God is the only one right. Yeah. And if I stick with his word, that word keeps me right. That's right. That's why I ain't getting out of it. Amen. For nobody. Amen. No time. Nowhere. That's right. That's right. Listen, I want to take my time and itemize this. Isaiah chapter 65 and verse 5. Which say, stand by thyself. This is the way they get. Mm -hmm. They get so wrapped up in their cult, their group. That's right. That's right. The preachers got them believing that they're the only ones. And just that organization is going back with Jesus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. They it's what a lot of preachers got the people believing. Yeah. Until they say, if you're not with us, That's right. you can't be saved. Or if you're not with us, you're not in the church. Never mind, you got to be with Jesus. Right. You got to be with us. Now forget Jesus. That's right. That's right. If you're with Jesus, you'll be with his word. Yeah. If you be with his word, you'll follow his orders. If you follow his orders, the word will put you in the church. Yeah. And when the word puts you in the church, it will expand your knowledge to know that the church number is as the sands of the sea. Right. Right. Do you see what I'm talking? That's right. It's as the sands of the sea. That's right. Is that Bible? Oh, yes. John said, I saw a number. No man can number. That, hallelujah, no man, man can number. No man. These were they arrayed in white robes. I remember I preached that one day, and somebody wrote me and said, that's not the church that's talking about the descendants of Abraham. It is not. It the is descendants not. of Abraham have a number. Each tribe is number 12,000. When you add it all up, it's 144,000. That's this. the direct descendants of Abraham, them that are circumcised according to the flesh. But now there's another part of Abraham's seed. We are Abraham's seed by faith. That's right. And that number, nobody can no number. Can number. Hallelujah. That's right. Hallelujah. Come on, take off. That's right. I saw a number. After this I beheld and lowered great after multitude. This, in Revelation chapter 7 and verse I beheld. Nine, a great multitude. Hallelujah. Glory to God. A great multitude. Which no man can number. Which what? No man can number. Nobody can count it. Of all nations. Amen. All kind of people. Hold yes. it. That's right. That is before that was written. Before any so-called apostolic organization came on the planet. That's right. That's right. So if only your organization is going back with God, what about those who obeyed the teachings of the apostles? That's right. Before the founders of these organizations fell out the womb. That's right. The church is bigger. bigger. Than any bishop. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's why you got to keep the church in the place where God put it. That's right. When you keep the church in the place where, where God put it, you don't tread on God's territory. That's right. He's the head of the bride. Don't oh, yes. you know the church is his wife? Yes. So when the preacher says that he's the founder of the church, you claim God's bride. God's bride. Now you got the church as your wife. That's right. How did the church go from being the wife of God to the wife of Bishop? Amen. That's a goal. That ain't my church. No. This is the church from the Lord Jesus, the Lord Christ. Jesus Christ. He died for it. I didn't. That's right. He shed blood to buy it. I didn't. That's right. He gonna present unto himself a glorious church. I'm not. No. 
I want to be in the presentation. That's right. When he come. That's right. <laughs> when he come present the church, I want to be. Huh? That's right. I want to be going up. Going up. They gonna have me down here. Oh, that's my church. Ain't paying you no mind. <laughs> Caught up to meet him. Caught up to meet him. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Put the church back where God placed it. That's right. You bishops have took God's wife, God's wife. and said it. She's yours. My Lord. The church is not yours. That's right. And every man that says the church is mine, you lied. Oh, yeah. You are violating God's wife. That's right. God have one wife. That one wife is one people. one people. The Holy Ghost says what? After this I beheld and lo a great multitude. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Which no man can number. Nobody can count it. Of all nations. What? Of all nations. All nationalities. And kindreds. Kindreds. And people. People. And tongues. Wait a minute. Ain't everybody don't speak English. That's, no. that's right. Wonderful. But the gospel got to them. And tongues. For to be tongues. Tongues. Different languages. That's right. The gospel got to them. That's right. And stood before the throne. They stood before the throne. Hallelujah. And before the Lamb clothed and with white robes. And before robes. the Lamb clothed with white robes. Clothed in white robes. And palms in their hands. Palms in their hands. And cried with a loud voice. Saying what? Saying salvation to salvation. our God. Salvation. Yeah. Hallelujah. How many gods did the church have? Salvation to our G-O-D. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Salvation. Salvation to our God. To our God. Which sitteth upon the throne. Which sit upon the throne. And unto the Lamb. And unto the Lamb. And all the angels stood round about the throne. Oh, wait a minute. All the angels. No two thrones here. No, no. About all three thrones. All the angels stood round about the throne. Round about the throne. And about the elders and the four beasts. The elders and the four beasts. And fell down before the throne on their faces and worshiped yeah. God. Worship God. And worship God. Do you hear this? Amen. Hallelujah. Worship God. Only God deserves to be worshiped. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. A real man of God, regardless of how much you appreciate him, if you fell down at his feet, he's going to make you get up. That's right. Wonderful. That's right. That proves That's the right. Pope is a false prophet of a truth. That's of a truth. Right. How many? All of them. That's All of them. That's All of them. All of them that was and is and is to come. Yep. You Catholic said Peter was your first Pope, even yep. though the Bible don't say it. No. no. But if Peter was your first Pope, why is it the other Popes don't follow his example? In Acts chapter 10 and at verse 25. What example? You bow to the Pope. You drop on your knees and kiss his old red shoes. That's right. And there's nasty hands. That's right. A man. A man. Not a man next to God. No. A mortal man. That's right. That became into office because a bunch of bishops voted him and smoke came out of a chimney. <laughs> Amen. I think it had to be white smoke, Pastor. Yeah, white smoke. It got to be white smoke. It's white smoke. Because when they don't get a vote, dark smoke come up. Right. When they don't, that's, that's come on the strange ceremony. Strange ceremony. And rituals. Yeah. The apostles in the Bible ain't had no such rituals. No. no. Dark smoke, we didn't get a vote passed for a new pope. <laughs> that's right. White smoke, supposed to make the angels rejoice. <laughs> strange rituals. Strange rituals. That's why they hate the truth of God, because we touch everything. That's right. And then run to the Bible for it. That's right. Listen at this. Now, back in the book of the Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14 and verse 23. Yeah. For whilst they slew their children in sacrifices. Read that again. Make it plain. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14 and verse 23. Yes. For whilst they slew their children in sacrifices. They murdered their children in sacrifice. Or use secret ceremonies. That's one of them secret ceremonies. That's right. That's right. Secret. Different Secret. archbishops run for the apostleship. Yeah. 
And whoever get the most votes, then that pass, white smoke come up. We got a new false prophet to take the place of the deceased one. <laughs> That's right. Black smoke come up. We don't have a new false prophet yet. We got to wait. Got to wait. That's true. Smoke declared. That's smoke right. declared. Not the Holy Ghost. Right. Oh, no. Smoke declared. That's right. What did the Bible call it? Or use secret ceremonies. Secret ceremonies. Or made revelings of strange rites. Revelings of strange rites. They kept neither lives nor marriages any longer undefiled. Real quick. But either one slew another traitorously. Wait a minute. One slew another how? Traitorously. Traitorously. Or grieved him by adultery. Wow. Amen. Wife swapping. That's right. That's what these religious do. Wife swapping. That's hey, right. hey, viewers, hey, viewers, son, brother, hey, brother, is your wife a member of a cult? Amen. And there's a new man on her arm every day? Yeah. That's right. Some cults, there's a cult leader now in jail. I cannot think of the name of it. You see, that's why I love history. The women that was all in this cult, the leader branded them like you brand a cow. What's his name? Charles Manson. No, not him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but that was one. That was one of them. Charles Manson, Manson, who they call Help the Skelter. Yeah. He said he was Jesus. That's yeah. true. Charles Manson said he was Jesus. Was Jesus. And he was supposed to do a purge. Right. Trying to ignite a race war. That's right. Had a swastika carved into his head. But his followers believed by his manipulation, he was the risen Christ. Risen Christ. And he charged them to go out and murder. And those murderous acts was the form of sacrifice. Yeah. Now, the Bible says in Leviticus 10.10, 10, uh, put a difference between holy and unholy, righteousness and unrighteousness, or, or clean and unclean. Right. So how do you think, viewers, that's in these cults, murdering your mother, Murdering your father, murdering your sister and brother, you mothers that bring your nieces and your babies and give them to some raggedy, no good pawn star. That's right. You call him a preacher, he ain't nothing but a pawn star. <laughs> That's all. That's right. He's a trifling, low down pawn star. That's right. You sit and watch him rape your daughter, sodomize your son, have sex with your husband. Yeah. Yes, they do. Drink the blood of your purification. That come under strange rituals. Strange rituals. Secret ceremony. You see, they think I'm crazy for preaching this. Yeah. But they don't think it's crazy when they hear it on the news. That's right. I'm preaching a reality gospel. That's right. God made me a raw in your face preacher. Whether you like it or not. I don't care if you don't like it. Many of your relatives is dead today because they followed some hypocrite who came in the name of Jesus. Of Jesus. Aunts are dead. Uncles are dead. Grandparents are dead. That's right. That's right. Jim Jones' son is still living. He had sense enough to escape. He realized his father lost it. Yeah. You that's in the present day, house of prayer for all the people, look at you. When Daddy Grace died, all the overseers that came on after the false prophet died, they also called them Sweet Daddy. Daddy Grace died. The next one, I believe, was Sweet Daddy McCullen. You got the next one, Sweet Daddy, and the next one, you know, the pimp, just keep it going. That's right. Now, one of the things they do in that organization, the bishop sit in the bishop's chair. You see my chair ain't like the ones that's in these. I don't have a throne. No. Throne for kings. That's right. I remember when the preacher was here that we disassociate ourselves from in Natchez, Texas, or Natchez, Mississippi. Mississippi. The one light place. <laughs> he was trying to butter me up one day in a one on one meeting. 
He said, you a king. Don't you know you a king? My Lord. He said, you a king. I said, man, I ain't nobody's king. He said, man, you are a king. And you should let the people treat you like a king. I said, no, I'm a servant. They're going to treat God like a king. That's, that's right. That's right. That stuff couldn't sell on me. That's right. He thought that little cheap. That little cheap, frenzy, foolish talk. Foolish talk. Could sell me like I'm so weak. Flat. I'm a man, or anyone that really know me, flattery don't move me at all. No, it doesn't. I ain't flattered by what nobody said. That's right. At all. At all. That's good enough for me. That's good enough. I don't need no throne. That's right. All I'm going to do is sit in it. That's it. And try to stay woke in it. That's it. <laughs> Neither is being lords over God's right. heritage. This is what they do. That's right. Give me a, where's one of the young boys, little children? You were a young boy, maybe six or seven or eight years old out there. Anyone out there? Anybody got a son back there? Bring him up. Come on. Bring, 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 bring him up. Give me a, about four brothers get my chair and bring it out there real quick. Come on, brothers, real quick now. I want to demonstrate this. Amen. Four brothers, bring the chair out there. Out there. Come on, I need four of y'all brothers come out there too. Set the chair down right there. Y'all four brothers stay there. I want to I wanna expose. Come on, yo, what's, what's his name? Get in. Get in? Oh, man, get in. Come on. Have a seat. Get in. Sit all the way back now. Sit back, get in. Hold on to both sides with your hands. Yeah, hold on to that. Now, y'all brother, raise the chair. Raise them up. Get, get about four up. Two on each side. Now, turn them to the side and walk up and down. This is the way they do the bishop. That's right. Of the house of prayer for all people. My Lord. Turn them around and bring them back this way. Anytime you got your bishop Go ahead. up in the air like he's a pharaoh, that's of the devil. That's of the devil. All right, Gideon. You all right? You're going to be on television, man. All right, Gideon. Thank you, son. He can go on back now. He don't want to get up now. <laughs> all right, Gideon. You, you all right, son. All right. What we just demonstrated, this is what they do in the house of prayer for all people. Amen. And they supposed to be apostolic. Apostolic. Yeah. That's right. Why would you lift some bishop up? That's right. Jesus said, if I, I be lifted up, be lifted up from the earth, from the earth I'll draw. I'll draw all oh, men unto me. To God. Unto me. Unto me. Unto me. We don't bow to no man. No. We don't wish up. No bishop. No way. We don't pray to no preacher. No preacher. No way. We don't believe that Pastor Jennings got to be in a building for God to move in here. That's right. That's right. That's right. If any one of you get a sick mind. Oh, I'd be glad when Pastor Jennings come so I can feel the spirit. You need the Holy Ghost. You need the Holy Ghost. Because I'm not your God. That's right. Because if I was your God, I'd strike you for thinking that way. Amen. If you need me, like someone need two sticks for friction. Yeah. To arouse the God that you say is in you. That's right. God is not in you. God is not in you. Because I can feel God if I don't see none of you. That's right. That's right. Why do you think he declared himself to be the comforter? The comforter. The comforter is when nobody's around. That's right. Hallelujah. You are by yourself. All by yourself. Hallelujah. You need help from God. That's right. Nobody to pray with. 
nobody to fast with. Yes. Nobody to sing with. Nobody on your left side or your right side. But he declared the comfort. Hallelujah. Go to God. Yeah. That's right. The comforter. comforter will come. Over to God That's will right. come. Will come. Hallelujah. So you don't need a preacher to fill the spirit of God. No. Are you listening? That's right. I want this to be good for you people that have made your bishop your Holy Ghost connection. That's right. Can't fill the Holy Ghost until Bishop come. Then you ain't, you don't have it. You don't have it. You don't have it. Because many of you received the Holy Ghost elsewhere. That's right. And you didn't know the Bishop that you got now. You didn't even know he was alive. That's right. So if you received it elsewhere and he wasn't there, why you need him there now yeah. to fill it? Amen. Are you listening? That's right. In the book of Romans, chapter 12, and at verse 3. Chapter and verse again. Romans, chapter 12, and verse 3. Romans, chapter 12, and verse 3. For I say, through the grace given For unto I me. For I say, through the grace given unto me. To every man that is among you. That every man that's among you. Not to think, not of, to himself, think of himself. More higher more than he ought to think. Then he ought to think, but how should we think? But to think soberly. Thanks, Soba. According as God hath dealt to every man the measure of faith. According to as God hath dealt with every man. Every man. The measure of faith. Of faith. How are you listening? That's right. Yeah. And in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 7 and verse 20. Says what? Let every man abide in the same calling wherein he was called. Wonderful. Cult leaders love flattering titles. Yeah. Exalted titles. That's right. So they can feel like they're God Almighty. There's a Spanish brother, I think he's either in Florida or Puerto Rico, who's declaring he's the Messiah. And he got thousands of followers. My Lord. The Messiah wear a three-piece suit. The Messiah. <laughs> the Messiah. The Messiah drives a Bentley or a Rolls Royce. Mm. I read where he's coming in the cloud, not coming in 12 cylinders. That's right. That's right. Do you listen to the old man? In the book of St. Matthew, chapter 24 and verse 3. Then, and let's, then let's close out in Hosea right. to see the destruction of God's people and the reason why. That's right. Because of lack of knowledge. That's right. Listen. Matthew, chapter 24, we're at verse 3. Listen. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately. And said what? Saying, tell us when shall these things be? Yes. And what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? Yes. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man Pay attention. You. That no man trick you. For many shall come in my name. Hear this, viewers. Amen. Many. Many glory shall come in my name. God, glory to God. Hallelujah. Shall come in my name and they're still coming. That's right. And what's the results, William? Saying, I am Christ. Saying, I'm the anointed one. And shall deceive many. Many of you living in the shelter now, you know why? Your bishop got your home. That's right. That's true. That's true. Your bishop came with some fake tongue and said, the Lord said for you to give him your house. That's right. And yet he got several properties. Yeah. The Lord said. Yeah. The Lord said, the Lord you're going to die if you don't give me your bank account. He spooked you up. That's right. Spooked you up. Spooked the Lord said, the Lord. you're going to die if you don't give me your bank account. He just stand over you hollering. You sitting there, oh, oh, okay, okay, I'll write the check, I'll write the check. <laughs> That's right. Or he come meet, meet you when you're in the hospital on a sick bed. Yeah. And you're semi-conscious. Yeah. Just got enough life for him to manipulate you. Oh, yeah. That's right. Mother Grath, oh, this is Bishop Lucifer here. <laughs> and her eyes open and closed. Bishop, is that you, Bishop? Yes, 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 I'm right here, I'm right here, I'm right here, I'm right here. <laughs> you know how dramatic these demons dramatic. are. <laughs> Bishop, I, I've been waiting on you. I got a message from the Lord. Uh-oh. 
Amen. I got a message from the Lord. Uh oh. Uh oh. The Lord, I want you to know that you don't have no need no more for any houses or land. What? No house of land no more. And these things are burning to you. And God sent me to relieve you. That's right. He got to make it strong. He look at that dying mother because his conscience is ice cold. He have no regard for your pain, no regard for your sickness. He don't even care if you die. Yea, he will make thee bear. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 13, and we're at verse 4. Says what? If thou be for his profit. If you be for his gain. He will use thee. He will use you. But if thou have nothing. If you ain't got nothing. He will forsake thee. He will leave you. If thou have anything. If you got anything. He will live with thee. He will live with you. Yea, he will make thee Yeah. He will make you bear and will not be sorry for it. You see why they hate the truth of God? That's right. It's just Bible for everything. That's right. So your lying weasel low life preacher. Yeah. After he done his fake tongues and smile upon thee. Amen. What else? If he have okay, chapter and verse. Now in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 13 and verse 6. That's what? If he have need of thee, he will deceive thee. If he needs you, he's right on the bedside. That's right. There are many of you watching me now. Your mother and father had to move in an apartment. Yeah. Because they were tricked in giving their house yes. to Bishop Hypocrite. That's right. That's true. And Bishop Hypocrite took their house, took their car. Yeah. I heard of one bishop who's dead now told his followers that you cannot have a car that's more newer than his. My Lord. He had an outdated Cadillac <laughs> and taught his members. You can't have a car newer than mine. My Lord. Some church organizations teach that it's a sin to have a new car. Yeah. Where do they get this stuff from? Get it from? They say if you got a new car, it's of the world, as if an old car is not of the world. That's right. A new car is of the world, an old car is of the world. That's right. It's a sin to get a custom made suit. It is. In order for you to be holy, you got to go to the thrift shop to get a suit. Okay, if you go to the thrift shop, that suit you got still was made somewhere, somewhere. by somebody at some time. That's right. Does the suit that someone else had and it being used make it more of a humble piece of clothing? Are you that dumb? <laughs> That's right. I'm tell Pastor Jennings that. That's yes. right. That's right. Wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Amen. I don't care if fairies and pixie dust made your clothing, That's right. and little elves custom made your shoes. You don't obey God, you're still going to hell. Still going. That's true. That's right. Strain at a net and swallow a, swallow camel. a camel. That has nothing to do with salvation. No. no. Long as your clothes is modest, That's wherever it. you got them from, the law says modest. The it doesn't matter whether they custom made, tailor made, or if Gabriel gave you one of his wings and made a suit out of it. That's right. This is where preachers try to tailor the Bible to them. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. If he have need of thee, he will deceive thee. And smile upon thee. And right, put hey, thee right, right, right while Mother mm -hmm. Cunningham is dying. Right. He's just grinning and speaking in tongues. Mother the Lord told me to tell you that. Ah, Lord. That's right. Just grinning. Just grinning. Yeah. When he's done groaning and going off in some tongue, Mother said, 
call my son. Yeah, ma, I want to change my will. Son is, now, son is a sinner. Yeah. And got good old-fashioned common sense. <laughs> Mother's in church. And looking at Jesus so much, she ain't got no sense. What do you mean? She went past the Bible. That's right. She ran ahead of the spirit, of the spirit, focusing on the name, but not focusing on the contents of the book. That's right. This is how these suckers get you. So, Mama, why will we bring the will? Well, Bishop, Bishop Lucifer, deceiver, yeah. right. said it's God the will for me to sign our house over to him because I'm going home to be with Jesus and I'm not going to need it. Don't need it. Now the sinner's son says, wait a minute, mom, are you crazy? The sinner's son. That's right. Is, is Bishop Lucifer there now? He's right here. Put that cat on the phone. <laughs> That's right. That's Put right. that cat on the phone. And Bishop Lucifer can hear his voice. Yeah. And Bishop Lucifer say, <laughs> it isn't necessary. For me to talk to one of the lost sheep. That's right. Many of you watching me now, your sinner kids got more common sense than some of you church fools. That's right. Because you went to church, but you didn't learn nothing. Anything. You just went to church, everybody started clapping. <laughs> Clap. Yeah. Yeah. This, that's all you've done in church. That's all you've done. That's all you've done. That's you ain't get this in you. That's right. That's right. You jump, slid around, set out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. Come to church, an ignorant fool. Sang in church, ignorant fool. A deacon, an ignorant fool. Ignorant. An elder, ignorant fool. A pastor, ignorant fool. A so-called missionary, yeah. dumb to the Bible. That's right. And your stupidity empowers the pulpit. That's right. That's right. All he got to do is run off any tongue. Shaka laka laka shaka laka shaka la shaka la shaka la shaka la. That's right. That's true. Give me the book of Hosea. In Hosea chapter four and at verse six. Notice the Bible. My people are what? My people. God talking. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Why are they destroyed? For lack of knowledge. Why do they lose their house? For lack of knowledge. That's right. How is the bishop able to take all three of his kids and have sex with them at eight and get them pregnant? For lack of knowledge. That's right. How is the bishop able to bend over your husband? For lack of knowledge. Because he dropped the soap? <laughs> That's right. For what? For lack of knowledge. He dropped the soap. Go ahead. Right, listen at the old man. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. That's right. Lack of knowledge. You don't like this preaching, and I know you don't. Because what I'm preaching now, many of you are presently in. Yeah. This is what y'all do in y'all cult, church. Chat. <laughs> Frank. Lee. Come here. I want to demonstrate this. Come My back. brother, you come here. <laughs> My brother here behind Kev, you come here. Now I'm going to demonstrate this. My brother here, you come here, and you stand, you stand right here. You stand next to him. Y'all both facing me, side by side. Side by side, yeah, side by side. That's right, facing me. Now, in y'all church, this is what y'all do. Come here, Lee, let's get Lee first. You're the smallest. <laughs> Got to make it good, Lee. This is what y'all do in y'all cult church. The preacher just come and wave his hand like he's got this power. Shalabah, hutabah, satabah, hut, 
Next thing you know, catch him, catch him. <laughs> Good catch him. <laughs> Am I right, son? That's right. That's one down. That's one down. <laughs> Back in the next one. This is what y'all doing, y'all church. Turn around, friend. Gotta make it easy for them. <laughs> Chalaba, Sataba. In the name. <laughs> That's what y'all do. That's what they do. Last one to check. Last one. Yilam asap talabalaruna. Everybody got to on you. Am I right, folks? Amen. Now, these fakers call it being slain in the spirit. Well, if you are slain in the spirit, why you need a back catcher? That's right. If that thing is up, when I came up, and with the Holy Ghost, this thing many times put you on the floor. Yeah. We ain't need nobody to catch us. No. There is no proper cute Holy Ghost. No. It's just the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Knock you over. That's right. Put you on the floor if need be. That's right. Tear up your clothes. Slain in the spirit. Ain't nothing but a Hollywood act. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Viewer, Hallelujah. are you a deacon in the cult? Are you an elder in the cult? Are you a so called cult apostle? Mm. Are you one of the mothers in the motherboard of your cult? Right. Is the bishop looking at the offering plate when all the cult followers come give money? That's right. Do the bishop feel a tongue? Do he speak in tongue around offering plate time? <laughs> Until you know the offering is collected by 12:15, that's that's offering time, and by 12:16 is tongue time. Tongue time. Yeah. That's true. Very true. The Bible says they folly shall be made manifest. That's right. As theirs also was. That's right. Disassociate yourself from falsehood. Yes. This is why we tell you according to the word of God, come out, out of your yeah. churches. And they laying me out all over social media telling me, yeah. you better you shouldn't tell people to come, out, come out the out. churches. Jesus didn't do it. He did so. Yes, yes he, did. he did. Yes, he did. Jesus said, do not after their works. That's right. And they said to the apostle Paul, come out, wherefore come out. chapter and verse. 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 17. That's what? Wherefore come out from wherefore among them. Wherefore join them. Come out from among them. Be a member. Come out from among them. Stay in. Come out from among them. And Doesn't be... matter if your father's the pastor. That's right. He ain't holy and believe in holy sanctification and follow it. Oh, Practice it. Preach it. Stand for it. Wherefore, come out from among them. And do what? And be ye separate, saith the Lord. Says Geno Genesis. Saith the Lord. No, Geno Genesis. Saith the Lord. No, saith Paul. Saith the Lord. What are you going to do about it, viewers? Do about that. Remember the 16th chapter of John. St. John 16, verses 1 and 2. That's what? These things have I spoken unto you that ye should not be that offended. That ye should not be offended. They shall put you out of the synagogue. They're going to throw you out of the meeting place. Yea, the time cometh that whosoever killeth you, whoever kill you will think that he doeth God's service. And they doing that now? Oh, yes. Contracts are put out on these people who left these cults, these yeah. false churches, kill them, yeah. murdering them, putting hits out on them. That's right. Scandalizing their name all over social media. Yeah. Trying right. to blacklist them. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. The Bible is here for your learning, viewers. Yeah. That's right. The truth of God is placed in the earth from the Lord. Yeah. That's right. So open your eyes. I don't care if you don't like it. You're going to be mad as you want. <laughs> this thing we're going to preach because it is written. That's right. Whatsoever things are written a full time is written for our learning. That we through patience and comfort of the scripture might have hope. 
and it is written, hope maketh not a shame. All right, what everybody got to do now? Acts chapter 2 and verse 38. Then Peter said unto them, repent. All right, here, here, you that are here now, leave your church. Don't, don't even tell me what church you came from. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If that thing ain't lined up with scripture, you might as well pack right up and down, leave. And if you haven't packed, don't even go back to pack. <laughs> That's right. You better come out of it now and do what the word of God says here. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Repent. Get sorry about your sins. Be sorry. Be sorry. Many men and women in jail now because some. And the thing about it, the preacher, many of them, the followers go to jail and the preacher run around scot-free. That's true. That's true. That's true. He run around scot-free, living large, living large. <laughs> eating fish, eggs, and drinking wine. Yeah. Amen. Sitting back, ready to start another cult somewhere else. Yeah. Or he flee the country. <laughs> That's right. On the run. On yeah. the run. And you that been manipulated by him, now you get ready to go to jail for outright murder. Yeah. And you did it in Jesus' name because you were deceived by a fool. That's right. And you get mad at me for preaching tough like this? Hmm. Why, you ought to be glad that God sent a loudmouth preacher who's not scared to tell you what's right. Amen. What did he say? Then Peter said unto them, repent. Repent. And be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. You don't Jesus hear Christ. these subjects dealt with in church. No. You don't hear them at all. You only hear them on the news. That's it. Yes. But don't you know the preacher's a divine journalist? Right. The Bible says, who have to believe thou report. report. And to whom the arm of the Lord revealed is my job to bring you the report of God. Oh, yeah. That's right. Repent and be baptized. Everyone. Everybody. Of you. Everybody yeah. got to repent of your sins. Everybody. Feel sorry. Be convicted. That's right. About your sins and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. And once you obey that, don't go back to your false church. You okay. still will be lost. Yeah. You got to obey it and be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. For what? For the remission of sins. They get your sins washed away and what did God promise? And you shall receive the gift of the Holy the Ghost. The Holy Ghost is when you're filled with the Spirit of God. Anybody here want to obey God and be right? Right. And be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Stand on your feet if you want it. <laughs> Wonderful. Wonderful. All of you that's standing, follow that brother and come around to the front now. This is every week, every day. Wonderful. Souls are giving up and going down in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on out of your churches, everybody. Come out of your churches and walk with the truth. And don't, don't go get baptized and then run back to your church and just sit there. Oh, no. Oh, no. You are still burning an everlasting hell just the same. That's right. Remember the examples that we did, viewers. Show it to your mother, your father. Your relative, if you got family members in the house of prayer for all people, Daddy Grace, old rotten organization. Amen. Amen. Get them out of there. Get out of there. Your cousins, I got cousins that was in that mess. Mm. In that religious garbage that come out of hell. Cults are of the devil. They say Pastor Genesis is a cult leader. That's what they say. They say I'm a cult leader because I preach hard. <laughs> right. They say because Pastor Jennings preached hard, he's a cult leader because I preach against sin. One man made a, his own podcast. He said, several reasons why I don't like Pastor Jennings. Because <laughs> Pastor Jennings preached against sin. I don't like men that preach against sin. Then he hates God. He hates God. That's true. My job is to preach against sin. Against sin. It doesn't matter if there's something I want to do. I got to preach against it. That's right. Eh? That's right. That's what God meant to do. Oh, Even if you want to do it, you still got to preach against it. Yes. The apostle said, when I would do good, evil is present. Evil is present. That's true. Amen. Look at the wonderful brothers and sisters. How are you, young men? Amen. You see the soul going down in water. In the name of Jesus. Viewers, you might as well come on. These might are the well. last days. That's right. That's why this program deal with unlimited subjects. That's right. Why? It's all in God's word. The conduct of the world yeah. is in the scriptures. It's in there. The conduct of right. the world it's is in the scriptures. It's in the scriptures. 
And this is why you find men all over social media. Don't go to pet. Stay away from pathogen. Yeah, everybody targeting pathogen. And you know why? With that alarm clock yeah. that God is using to wake you up. That's right. And they want you to throw that alarm clock out the window. Don't you know preachers want you to be asleep so they can lie to you? Lie to you. And here God made us a disturbance. A divine interruption. That's right. So open your eyes to God's way. Hallelujah. And point you to the book that you claim you love. You better repent now, hypocrite. Be baptized in the water in the name of Jesus Christ, hypocrite. That the Lord fill your hypocrite and soul with the Holy Ghost. Come out of your hypocrite false church so the hypocrite don't go to hell. That's right. Leave the cult leader of hypocrisy. Yeah. You find them in the apostolics. You find them in the Pentecostal. You find them of every religion across the board, even them that profess that they are holiness. That's right. They are used the name. And use the Bible for their own benefit. Amen. Amen. That's right. I disagree with many religions, but I'm not going to be outside trying to fight you, fist fight you. Fist fight. Hebrew Israelites outside because white folk disagree with them and cuss them out, call them MF and SOBs and push them all on the ground and try to jump on them and gang on them and stomp them That's right. and say you represent God. No, you represent Satan. That's right. That's who you represent, Satan. Satan. Now all of them is not like this because I know Hebrew Israelite brothers, we get along good. We are spar with the Bible and laugh and come back next week and see each other again. Amen. Amen. We're sitting in the barber shop. I call him the devil. He'll call me wicked. That's all right. I say, you old devil. He said, you wicked. And then I say, I'll see you next week. He said, all right, Gino, have a good day. <laughs> Amen. We, we, I mean, we have it out. Amen. And then sometime before we leave, there's one particular Sunni Muslim come in. Oh, man, him and that Hebrew Israelite go at it all the time. The moment he walk in, the Hebrew Israelite look at him and say, here comes Satan. <laughs> <laughs> he came in, here comes Satan and then a Sunni Muslim will tell him alright I'll be Satan but I'm going to challenge you and your God Hallelujah. and they'll go at it and then the Sunni Muslim sometimes he'll pull me in it and sometimes he'll be right and he'll pull me in it he said Gino will you tell this fool <laughs> that there's only one God <laughs> he said tell him Gino I said, fool, there's only one God. <laughs> Hebrew Israelite said, she know you're supposed to be on my side. I said, you the first Hebrew Israelite that I ever met who's trying to make two. I said, I'm telling you right now, I'll take the Bible and beat you into place. That's right. Oh, yeah. Then the Sunni Muslim gets so aroused up, he starts cussing. Get him, Gino. I said, stop, stop cussing. I said, now you are the devil. Now you are the devil. <laughs> And then we all leave. All right. I tell him, I see y'all heathens next week. <laughs> <laughs> and we had come back again, ready to rumble. So I know some very decent in character, Hebrew Israelites, but I'm you that's out there cussing, cussing out white folk, slapping white women on the ground and gang up on females and stomp them. Amen. You ain't nothing but a bunch of gang banging that's thugs all. that ought to go to jail and from jail to hell. That's right. You don't represent the God of Abraham. No. You represent Lucifer. Lucifer. That's right. There was any church that tell you you got to give them your house, take your money. You gave them your wives and husbands and your children. And the preacher told you the Lord said. The Lord said. Any church that tried to scare you up, you get ready to leave and say you're going to die as if staying there is going to make you live. That's right. I think of the false prophet that said that God told him that I'm going to be in a white Cadillac or a limousine with about seven to eight homosexuals. He just told a blatant lie on God. He said God told him that Brother Williams is going to lead the truth to God and go with him. He said God told him that Dan the Man Stacy Act is supposed to be down there. He said God told him there is no more First Church and First Church is well, all over the place. That's right. You see, that's the spirit of cultism because what happened is you start losing respect for God yeah. until you think now that you're so powerful that you can say anything about God. 
and then you blaspheme him and curse him. And when you lie on God, that's blaspheme that's against right. the Holy Ghost and you're lost. lost. You can't be saved. That's right. You can make any website, any broadcast, it doesn't even matter no more. That's even right. if you repent, when you blaspheme against the Holy Ghost, you can't be forgiven. Can't be forgiven. You're lost. That's right. You can't even you can't repent. You can go through the motions all you want. All you want. But you're lost. That's right. That's why I tell the folk, be careful what come out of your mouth touching the most high. Oh, yeah. All right. Come on back at 5.30. Hit your knees. We won't have an evening broadcast, viewer. But there's enough that's on there that I carry you over <laughs> to <laughs> next week. Amen. All right. We hope to see you next week, God willing, in Charlotte, North Carolina. Come on back at 5.30. Hit your knees for prayer. Let's talk to God. Let us all stand. Brother Dan Thompson will close us out in prayer. Heavenly Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we do thank you, Lord God, again for this, another day which you've made. We thank you, Lord God, that you're the one and only true living God that's made all men and all things. We thank you for your word today. We ask you, O oh God, to let it go forth as always, O oh God, let it accomplish that to which you've sent it. Let it, O oh, oh God, open the eyes and the understanding of men and women everywhere, wherever they may be in the world, O oh God, let it prick the heart. Open the understanding that they too may see the need to turn to thee before it's everlastingly too late. Give us strength, I pray, O oh God, and bless our pastor continually. Help us to cleave to thee with our whole heart and mind and do that which is right and well-pleasing in thy sight. Give us strength, O oh God, I pray continually. These things we ask in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen.